Hey beautifuls, welcome back to my channel today where I do a lot of unboxings. If you're new here, welcome and thank you so much for clicking on this video today. So today we're doing a massive mega unboxing. This is going to be one of the largest unboxing videos that I have created. I hope I can survive all of these boxes. <laughs> So I have with me six different FabFitFun mystery bundles that are available in the add-on store. These are all add-ons that you can add to your existing spring box. These mystery bundles all varied in different price points. They have different amount of items inside of them. And I couldn't help myself because I wanted to compare and see what they're all like. But now having all of these six boxes here, I'm a little overwhelmed. There's there's a lot going on. So I did make notes. I have everything listed out. I've got my numbers. I've, I'm organized. I have a lot happening, but I am organized. I'm gonna break each of these mystery bundles down as well as we go along, but also in my video description, I will post the different facts and information about each one of them also. So mystery bundle number one, it cost me $19.99. Now this is considered a refill. So every time I receive my box, I receive a refill along with it, which is a mystery bundle. This used to retail for $15, but with the spring boxes, they announced that it was going to be going up to $20 for it. I feel like $20 for three products in a mystery bundle with FabFitFun is not a bad price point at all. So this is what my bundle looks like. I am already ecstatic because I know what this product is. So this is the first item inside of my mystery bundle. This is the Unhide Blanket. This particular one I think is gray was the name of it or a slate color. It's their 100% polyester blanket. It measures 50 inches by 60 inches. I have this in cream already and these cost like $60 to purchase by themselves. And I received it in a $20 mystery bag, which is amazing. So this is what it looks like. So this is the unhide blanket. And then this is the color here. So it's kind of a darker gray color, extremely soft. I mean, these blankets are so warm, so soft. I love them. I can't believe this is in a $20 mystery bag. I received two more additional items inside of this mystery bag. The next one is going to be from Daily Concepts. And these are going to be two scrunchies that we have here. They are made of like a towel fabric. So they're designed to hold your hair back while you're doing your makeup or if you're doing like a spa moment with a mask or anything. And they're going to absorb any moisture that you have in your hair as well. And the last item inside of this mystery bundle is going to be some nail files, I believe. So this one, not as exciting. I can see why they put it in this bundle because the blanket is really the hero item. And this is just gonna be some nail files to take with you. So not exciting at all, but I absolutely think the $20 was well spent on this mystery bag. My next mystery box is called the Double Mega Bundle. So this Double Mega Bundle retailed for $60. First item that I have is from Summer and Rose and we have a giant basket. It's a hanging woven basket, it says. So this is what the basket itself will look like. It's all fabric, so it's a hand woven basket itself. And then it has these really long handles and it actually is going to hang. Now it does come with all of the hardware as well as including the hook to put it on, but this is what the actual basket itself will look like. It is so large. I think the idea is that you could you know, put this up off the ground if you want to do storage. You could line this with a plant liner and include a plant in here also, especially one that's a vine that could traipse down and have some length. I think this would be perfect for. Next item is going to be a plastic reusable cup. So this one's got a really gorgeous floral design on it. I love all the flowers. This is from a company called Bando and it says sip, sip all around the top of this. And then it also has a pink strip straw. It is a screw on lid and then it does actually have a seal around here also. So I do think it'll lock in your moisture for quite a while, but how cute for spring. Next item is a wine tumbler. So it's brand new in the box. And this one is from Chic and Tonic is the brand name. Oh, it's blue and it's an ombre. Look at that. 
Okay, that is really cute. So this is what the wine tumbler will look like. It is all stainless steel inside and it is insulated and sealed. Whoo, this lid is on here so tight. Like it is hard to get off. So this is what it looks like inside then. And then it also will close and open with a sliding shelf here. But I love how that looks. How great is this gonna be this year for summer? I also have a box of three bars of soap. So this one is from the Fay Company. It says every bar purchased helps to provide bars to those in need around the world. It was handmade. They actually have the person that made your box of soap. They sign every box. So these are just gonna be in different scents. So it looks like I have lavender for my bottom one here. Okay, so this one's gonna be a lemon scent. And then this is what the bar of soap will look like. So it's a handmade bar. And then like I mentioned, we just have three different scents available. And this is all counted as one item. Next up, I have two more scrunchies, but from a different brand. This one is going to be the Velvet and Faux Pearl Scrunchies. It's a set of two. So this is what the first one will look like and it's just gonna be in that ruby red color. But we also have another scrunchie in black. I also have some hair clips in my box. So this is a set of three hair clips from Noir, and it looks like we have a black one and then we have two different tortoise shell versions. These hair clips are really coming back in style. What I like about these is they're so long, it will hold a lot of hair in them. I also have some sunglasses from Salt of the East. So this is our next item and they are bright white. And these are gonna be polarized glasses. So they're fairly dark. They feel a little plasticky in my opinion. They feel very lightweight, which is nice, but I don't feel like they're made of really you know, expensive materials or anything. Um, I see Oompa Loompas. I get a Willy Wonka vibe. Does anybody else? Like this reminds me of the Willy Wonka factory and you know, the little boy goes in and sees the television and then he gets shrunk down. This is giving me those safety glasses vibes. It's definitely a statement. I don't know if this is one that, that I can rock, but it's a statement. So I have one final item inside of this box and it's from a company called Short Stories. So it is in a brand new box and it is a hanging wall shelf. So this is a gold accent piece and then you do have a piece of wood in the middle here so it will be a functioning shelf. I love how modern this is and how adorable it is. It's so cute. It's definitely bespoke and on trend. I will use this in my home. I think it'd be great in like a bathroom. You could set different little toiletries up here on top of it, but I think this one is super cute. So for $60, I received eight items inside of this double mega box that they offered. I feel like there's a lot of items in here for that $60 price point because that makes each of these items less than $10. Now, I don't think the scrunchies are that great. The glasses, not so much. I don't think the hair clips are super expensive either. I really think the wall piece is my favorite of the box and also the basket. So I think those are definitely worth it. I also love my tumbler and my new cup as well. So I don't think this one was terrible. I think it was good. Box number three is here. This box is also called the double mega box. However, there was a different price point on it. So this one actually retailed for $74.99 and it was still called the same thing. So I'm hoping we have different items in this compared to the last one. So first item on top is a pillow. I can't believe we have a stinking pillow in here, you guys. It is huge. So this is what the pillow itself will look like. It's made in India. There is a zipper across the top here so you could replace the padding inside if you needed to. But this is supposed to just be like a decorative accent piece. It's fairly thick. I mean, it, it's a fat pillow, but it's got kind of like a patchwork quilt vibe going on. Next item is a canvas tote. This looks great for going out to like the beach or doing like a picnic or something. So this is gonna be a canvas fabric on the front and back here. And then you've got this really pretty coral color, real light peach color. They do have a snap inside of the bag and then there are two handles for your tote. It's really large, opens up really wide as well. This is from the Summer and Rose brand. I also have two puzzle books inside of this box. So it says, just be happy and then 
it is filled with all kinds of puzzles. There's crosswords, word searches in here. There's riddles as well. There's even coloring pages in here. So all sorts of different types of puzzles and activities. And then you have two of these. They just have different covers is the only thing. Next up, I have a push pop stand. So this is from Silo Pop. And this is something that you'll attach to another product. So like your phone or a tablet. Next item that I have is a headband and this is from Marcus Adler. So this one's cute because it has this adorable little snowflake over here. I love that. That is super cute. But this is gonna be a headband or you could use this as like an ear warmer as well. It's fairly stretchy, which is nice. Last item that I have is also from Summer and Rose again. And this one, I don't know what this is. It's got this geometric design. There's a zipper across the top here. And then it's a drawstring. And I mean, this is all the wider it opens, but like it's really long. And there's like, what, it, what am I missing here? I have no idea what I'm supposed to be looking at. Oh, it's a yoga mat bag. So you would put a yoga mat inside of this and this is the carrying bag. Okay, well, <laughs> I don't even have a yoga mat, so that's gonna be a little difficult. Um, This is very niche because I don't even know if I could repurpose this to use it for something else because it's such an awkward shape. It's so long and then it just does not open up very far at all. So this one I'm actually the most disappointed with because I don't know that I can even reuse this for something else. I mean, I can't even do like a laundry bag or anything with it. So I do think it's pretty. I like the design, but it's just it can really only be used for one thing. So that is everything in mystery box number three. I'm really disappointed with this one. This mystery box, like I said, cost $74.99 to purchase. And we received less items in this one than we did with the other one either. We had six items inside of this box. I feel like the pillow is nice. I feel like the yoga mat bag is nice. The canvas tote bag is nice. It's just but it's not worth $75 in my opinion. This one to me, this was a ripoff. Like I feel like I really overpaid for this box. Box number four is here. It is significantly larger. I mean, this is a very large box. Now this one was called the Super Mega Home Bundle. And it is the most expensive of all of the mystery boxes that I purchased. So this one comes in at $139.99. $140 bucks for this box, you guys. So this is the first item in my $140 home box. And it's kind of like a cowboy hat of sorts. Oh boy, this one is interesting. This is from Gigi Pip. And it says, here's to a woman who wears many hats. Well, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of love this. Oh my gosh, now I need those white sunglasses back. It's really loose on my head, I will say that. I might actually use this come springtime and working in the garden, try to keep the sun out of my face. This might work. Next up, I have another product from Short Stories. This is a set of four coasters. Ooh, they're kind of cute too. So these are white coasters and then they actually have grooves in them. And then on the back, they do have black little feet so that way it won't scratch anything up. These are really modern and fun. Yeah, so they're all four the same and they're super heavy. These feel like ceramic to me. Next item that I have is a getaway eye mask. It says lounge town on it. <laughs> um, This seems cheap. I'll be honest with you guys. It just, it feels cheap. It just, it, it has a price tag of $18.95 on it. Are you, whatever, no. This is literally what it says down here in the corner. There's no way I would spend that on this. Next item that I have is a keychain. This is a heart keychain. And that's all it is. This doesn't feel very home oriented. I do have a piece of jewelry inside of this box and this one feels 
really heavy and high quality. So I would assume this is real sterling silver. That is my guess. So the brand is Marilyn Schiff. And then this is what the necklace pendant will look like. So it's all silver and it almost has like these molecules down here at the bottom. I'm five items in on this box. And again, I'm looking for $140 here. I don't even think I'm close to that yet. I don't think I've hit even a hundred yet. Next item is from Short Stories and this is a baguette board. Okay, this is kind of cool. So essentially you'll take a French baguette and you're gonna place it on this wood board and these lines are where you're going to cut the bread at. So your knife is gonna go directly down through all of these slots and then slice your bread. So then your bread's gonna be the perfect angle, the perfect thickness, and they're all gonna be the same every time. And it's in this little boat, so it's not gonna go anywhere. Next up, I actually have a purse. So this is from Summer and Rose, and this bag is all made of vegan leather, and it's gray on one side, it's white on the other, and then it's got a pink handle. So this is gonna be a strap that you can use, but it's also got a clutch handle here. And then it's got all of these gold accents. So you can see all of the colors that it's a color blocked bag that they made. And then there are gonna be some gold feet on the bottom of this. This is a tote style. So it's just all one big compartment. We have one final item inside of this, this mystery box and it is a giant blanket. Now this blanket is going to be from the Sun Dream Company and it's called the Laguna Throw. I don't, I'm not disappointed with this product, but the thing that kills me is that I received this same blanket, but in a different color, it was orange. And I received it in my smaller mystery bag a season ago. And I spent $15 on that bag and this blanket was in there. And now this blanket is in my home box where I spent 140. So it's just really disappointing to me that I'm seeing this in such an expensive box. And it is a really nice throw. It's super thick. It's great quality. I just can't believe that they would put it in this and then put it in a $15 bag last year for me. So there were a total of eight items inside of that super mega home bundle for $140. I don't think I got $140 here. I really don't. Box number five is here. Now this bundle is called the Mega Bundle. The last one we did was their Super Mega Bundle, but this is just Mega. So this Mega Bundle cost me $99.99. So it was $100 for this mystery box. First item inside of this bundle is a pom-pom wristlet. So it's like a little clutch of sorts. And it's all made out of seagrass. So this is gonna be the little handle here. And then you've got your pom-poms on the front. This is from a company called Sea and Grass. And it says that this purchase supports education and the villagers who made these bags. It was all made in Thailand. And inside, oh, you can't open it. I'm not joking. You can stick your fingers in and that's it. You can't you can't open it. I mean, I don't want to break this, but it is so hard. You cannot open this at all to put anything in it. Like this is all the further it opens up. So that is definitely a design flaw because there's even a pocket inside of this, but you can't, you wouldn't be able to put anything in this. I mean, the only way you'd be able to really use this is just slide your phone in, slide just a card in here, and that's it. Like, this is very unrealistic as you try to open it up. So I think it's it's cute and fun, but honestly, I wouldn't be able to use it just because I can't open it. Ooh, so I do have a necklace from Stella and Ruby. This is a long silver chain necklace. This is cute. Actually, this looks like something my mom would wear she'll probably get this product because this definitely looks like my mom. So it's a longer necklace that will hang about here then. And I do think it's got a really pretty texture on all of these as well, slightly thicker chain. So it is a little bit heavy just because of that. I also have a sponge gel in here. So this is their papaya scented sponge gel. So I do love these little buffers. They are infused with the product and all you have to do is add water to them and then they're a great cleanser and exfoliant. I have another pillow. So this is from Summer and Rose 
This is called the Melrose Throw Pillow. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm not gonna take it out of its seal, but it's really big and it's just a square pillow. And then it's got this kind of like animal print design on it. I do have a beauty kit. So this is from Billion Dollar Brows and this has three products inside of the kit. So you'll first condition your brows, color them and control them. So they have three different items in here to do that. So it's got their boosting conditioner gel. Then they've also got the coloring pencil, the crayon, and then they've got the clear brow gel to shape them. Next item is a yoga wake up pillow. It's an acupressure pillow. Ooh. Okay, this might be really cool. So I'll pull this one out, but the company is called Yoga Wake Up. And then this is what it looks like here. And then you have all these different acupressure points. I'm not gonna lie, it looks a little scary when you first look at this. Like I don't really wanna step on it. But this is designed for your neck to help stimulate. And then also for like your scalp or the back of your head. This is what the pillow looks like here. And it's just like those foam beads inside of it. Last item inside of this mystery bundle is a tray. And it's massive. So this is all one piece. It's from Kate Spade. And this is called the Gingham Serving Tray. It's 14 inches by 19 and a half inches long. So it is really large, good size tray. I feel like this would be a great picnic tray. Like you could put your burgers on here, you know, and then take it over to the table, grill out with this. So I do think this is cute. So for that $100 box, I had a total of seven items inside of it. This one is much better than the last two that I've done. I still don't think the value is completely there. However, having a Kate Spade item definitely increased the value on this box. Having seven items in there definitely increased it as well. And I will use a few more of these items in here than I had in the last couple boxes. Our sixth and final box is here. So this one is called the Super Mega Bundle and it retailed for $105. So there was only a $5 difference between our Mega Bundle that we just opened and the Super Mega Bundle. I'm hoping this is extra super awesome to make up for that then. So first item inside of this box is going to be a brush set. This is from Zoe Isla and it's a vegan leather case with 10 makeup brushes included in it. And then they list all of the different types of brushes on the back. They have anything from powder brushes and face brushes all the way up to eyeshadow brushes in here. Next up, I have from Chic and Tonic again. This is their ceramic bowl set. So there are three bowls in here and they're nesting bowls. So they're gonna be different sizes. So we have a small, medium, and large bowl. Oh, these are cute. So this is what it looks like then. Oh my gosh, I love these. Finally, finally, of all of the boxes I've opened up, this I love. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I take that back. I really like the blanket at the beginning too, but it's taken a while to find another product that I truly love. This is gorgeous. Oh, I love this. Wow. So we have a kit here from All Recipes and it's a 2023 calendar, but then they also have a desktop calendar here as well. So I have the full wall one and then the desktop down below. This is really big. And what's cool is since it's from all recipes, they have recipes listed on every day of the month then for this calendar set. I have grown alchemist. Oh my gosh, this is the body cream. It's a full size product that we have here. Four ounces. Oh my goodness. I can't believe this is in there. Fine. You guys, finally we're getting a really good box. The last box that I open up is turning out to be really good. Next item is a beanie and this one is from Marcus Adler again. So we've got a purple and pink beanie with a fluff ball on top. I did receive another one of those same headbands that I had in the other box. So this is from Marcus Adler again. It's their navy headband with that snowflake. The next item that I have in here is from To The Market, and this is going to be Garden Gals Glass Charms. So these are the charms that you put on your wine glass to mark whose is whose, and they're all different flowers. 
and different colors. Next item I have is a cozy scarf and this is made from Gentle Fawn. This is really thick for a scarf. Look at that, there's even tassels on here. So it's pink and white. This scarf is huge. Oh my goodness though, like it's really warm. It's very thick and fluffy. It's also very soft. And then you can see the design here. It's not a bad scarf. And the last official item inside of this box then is going to be another tote, but this is made from fleece, I think. I mean, I've never had a fleece bag before. So this is very bizarre to me. I don't think this is very functional because what if the stains are like, you get moisture on this. So it's from Virginia Wolf is the name of the company. And then it's got a blush interior. There is a snap to close it. And there is one pocket at the back here then with a zipper on it. So that is everything inside of my sixth mystery box from FabFitFun. This one again retailed for $105 and we had nine items inside of it. So I do think we had a few good items through all of this unboxing. But as a whole, you guys, I don't feel like I made out very well on these mystery boxes. Just in general, and it's really disappointing because I have been buying these mystery boxes for years from FabFitFun. And while yes, it's a gamble, usually you come out ahead. And I don't usually have to worry about it. But after this experience, I'm like, I don't know if I'll buy these ever again because I, I mean, there was so much money put out on them that I don't feel like all of them paid me back appropriately. I definitely think I lost money on these. Now, the $20 bag, in my opinion, was the best one in terms of value. You get that blanket in there plus two other items for only $20. That is ecstatic. I loved it. I think this super mega bundle where you get this many items, I enjoyed this one as well. But all of the other ones... I don't think they're that great. So comment down below, you guys. Let me know what you think. I definitely think I took a loss on this video, so I am gonna ask you guys to give this video a thumbs up. Try to comment on this one as well because I need to recoup a little bit of money on this video back for how much money I put out on these because I'm pretty sure I put out over $400 for all of these boxes and that's really painful to take a hit like that. So if you can support my channel by commenting, by liking this video, watching the video all the way through, heck, if you can watch it a second time, even overnight, just to get my views up on this, that would be much appreciated. So comment down below, let me know what you guys think, and we will chit chat all about it. But until next time, have a great rest of your day, and I will see you guys all in my next unboxing video. Bye.